I'm actually at Witten Rossa and this area that they've they're apparently clearing for a roadway um, as you can see it's all been stripped um, is a huge area and, um, and obviously the local council not telling us something this huge area that they're spending millions of pounds on clearing um, for the archaeologists to do work um, no way uh, this area is being cleared for a housing development is quite sizable um, gone past the route that's not fenced off at this minute uh, waiting for a security guard to approach me you can see how big this area is uh, the area if we pan back towards the road would be the area that they're stripping uh, to widen the road um, and then as you head down here uh, this is the area that they've actually stripped um, Rubicon Heritage uh, have uh, been seen on a number of occasions doing um, uh, work here. Um, not sure I've counted how many staff that they've got working here, but it's it's considerable. Um, and as you can see, uh, the area that um, has been stripped stripped is huge. Um, how many acres are we talking about? Over ten acres. Uh, it's a bloody wide road if there's just chucking a road through you. Um, so I'm just wandering across the site. Um, probably not in an archaeological capacity now. In a capacity that I just want people to see what's going on. Um, so obviously security around here. It's a vast site uh, that they're actually clearing. Um, and I'm just going to see how far I can actually get without being challenged. Um, so, you know, so it, it, I'm going to repeat it. It's a massive area they've cleared here. Why are they clearing such a huge area, you know, for anything other than a housing development? Smack bang in the middle of the five mile lane. Um, you can see, you can see as it's scanning around. I'm going up, up, up to a fenced-off uh, area where I probably believe that there, um, you know, that there's evidence of the archaeologists working here on features. There we go, it's a feature there. Uh, maybe a kind of post hole. Um, whatever the archaeologists are finding here. Um, you know, they're, they're doing lots of exploratory um, pieces of work. You can stay, see over here, you've got some kind of a building. Um, on, on, the, on the left here, you've got some kind of um, a ditch, and there's something else coming in here. Um, obviously, we're walking across this site now. There's more features that they're excavating um, all the time. They're cross-sectioning these um, these features, um, and when you cross-section a feature, um, you, you can take samples mainly of post holes as it's as it's going through. Um, it's a big area they're clearing here. Um, I'm coming across a lot of um, a lot of uh, stone in this area. Um, they, they, they fenced off um, large sections, um, features, post holes. There we go, there's another one. Um, it's been sampled. Um, and as we come onto the site, it's unlikely that this is part of the area where they've, where it's reported that uh, bodies have been recovered. Uh, I'm just uh, in amongst very much the archaeology now um, and it, it seems to be a bit of a ghost land so obviously there's a lot going on here um, th there's there's a lot going on here